Okay, it's Mushroom once again, and you might be wondering why I don't have Hot Wheels in my hand. Well, I went to Target, and I found a bunch of different things that were kind of interesting that I wanted to, um, like, uh, do a little video about. These are new released from Tops, and they're called Chips with a Z. They're 2013 baseball, Major, major League Baseballs, you get... Uh, four MLB chips, one team sticker, and one game board. Um, since the baseball card market completely flopped and died, um, Topps has been struggling to find new ways for collectors to collect things and for them to make money, obviously. Uh, this is one of the new ways. You can get an autographed, glow-in-the-dark, magnetic, and a relic chip. So... To give you an idea, the autograph chips are actually signed, um, and the relic chips have like a shaving of a baseball bat that was actually used. So, um, pretty interesting. And they're poker chips, so they're kind of cool. They have a lot of weight to them, they're really heavy. Um, and then you have magnetic ones, which I guess you can put on the, uh, the refrigerator. So, let's go ahead and open these up. These are actually not too expensive either, they're only a buck ninety-nine, and you get four. So, more uh, affordable than the Garbage Pail Kid Chrome cards, but let's go ahead and open this up. First, let's go ahead and pull out the the game, game board. So, the game board is, um, it's a baseball diamond. And it teaches you, they teach you how to play shuffle chips. Place the game board on a flat surface. About start three feet away and take turns sliding your chips onto the game board. Each player gets two tries per inning to score or knock the other chips away. Any chips still on the board at the end of the inning are accounted towards that player's score. After nine innings, the player with the highest score wins. Then you can go flip chips. Place the game board on a flat surface. Hold your chips at least two feet above the board and flip the chips like a coin. Each player gets two tries per inning and to try and land their chips on a number. If your chip lands face down, score the number you landed on. Uh, if your chip lands face up, you score double. So that's pretty cool. And then spin chips. Place the game board on the flat surface. Place your chips on its edge in the middle of the board. Spin the chips and watch where it lands. Each player gets two tries per inning to spin their chips onto a number. The highest total of at the end of nine innings wins. All right. So um, if you're collecting this thing, these things, I wouldn't suggest doing all these uh, various different uh, drop, spin, whatever things. But let's go ahead and look at these uh, chips. First up, we have um, Jared Weaver. Now, I don't know why there's a sticker on, on top of it. Let's see what the sticker is. Ah, so all it is is it's like kind of like a uh, a static cling sticker, but it has it once you peel it, it reveals Jared Weaver's photo. So that's kind of cool. This isn't one of those signed cards or anything. Once again. It's kind of heavy, so that's pretty cool. Uh, this one is Paul Kernico, and I think this is just a regular chip. So this is this has something special about it. I don't know what yet, but I'll find out and let you know eventually. So, as you can hear, they're actual poker chips too. This one is Bautista. And this one is Shields. So, James Shields from the Royals. And Bautista from the Blue Jays. So, that's that. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and open up our second pack. I guess, wait, it says one team sticker. Oh, I get it. So this is actually a team sticker. There's nothing special about it. It's just a team sticker. Not really a sticker. It's more like a vinyl, a vinyl thing. So right off the back, I know I got a magnetic one. So let's go ahead and peel this real quick. Cincinnati Red sticker. This is a Phillips second baseman. 
and it's a magnet as you can see <laughs> ah, okay so I think I got two magnet ones because let's see yep so here this is yeah none of these are magnets so look none of these are magnets but these two are magnetic so Trumbo and Brandon Phillips from the Reds Angels and the Reds I wish I would have gotten some Dodger players, but I didn't. Here's Rays as a shortstop. And this is just a regular chip, so there is no magnetic property on this. Uh, they have metal bases, I think, because obviously it's this one, which is a magnetic chip, um, sticks to it. So, and this one also. So... As you can see. So anyways, these are... I was kind of interested in these things. Um, probably might get some more. You never know. I might I might buy some more of these things. Not 100% not sold on them yet, but maybe. Anyways, there you have it. We have our tops Major League Baseball chips. Um, for your viewing pleasure. Leave me any questions and comments down below. Give me a thumbs up if you like what you see. Um, and please subscribe. Alright, thanks for watching and stay tuned for another video coming up. Alright, bye-bye.